If you follow tutorials on YouTube or any other platform, for free CAD, then you may have come across problems that you've experienced, but the author hasn't. This video is to help you overcome those problems. And I've put together the five top reasons that I've found through the comments where people have followed my tutorials, where things have gone wrong and the reasons why. So I hope this video helps everybody out there following these tutorials. Let's have a look at where things can go wrong and how to solve them. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0 or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash Mango Jelly Solutions. Links can be found in the channel header, on the about page, or in the descriptions of these videos. So this problem normally happens in the part design. And that's when we map a sketch to the face. It's important to remember to select a face rather than double click in a face. If we double click, we select the whole pad. If I select a face and add a sketch, it's mapped correctly. And if I add some geometry in here, say a circle, we can see when we close, that's mapped on top of that face. You can see on the left hand side, we have the support and the map mode. And you can see it's the face that we selected, face six of the pad. Let's delete that sketch and see what happens when we double click on the pad. So a single click, we'll select a face. If we double click, it selects the whole object. And if we click once and then click again, it will select the whole object again. If we try and create a sketch upon that face, it's gonna ask us for the plane to place it upon. And this is where problems start occurring. If you come across this in the tutorials, it's asking to select a face to place it upon and you get these planes. And for instance, I select the XY plane there, it's gonna place it upon the XY plane on the bottom of your pad. So when we add a sketch in here, well, we won't be able to see it, it's on the bottom and we have to use our sketch and view section. So you see it on the bottom there. So when we close, well, it's actually on the XY plane, it's not actually attached to the pad. And you can see that the support for this sketch is XY plane flat face. How do we resolve that? Don't change the placement. We can get into other troubles there. If we start changing the placement, then you create an offset. It's simple as taking the support, clicking on the button on the end. Where it's got XY plane, we hit clear. That's important to clear out our selection. And then we select the face that we want. As you can see, we've got pad face six. That's selected there. Don't double click, otherwise we select the pad again. So just single click, we get face six. Hit OK. And our sketch is now mapped to that face. And we can do what we want with that sketch. So I'm in the part design for this one. And let's say I create a sketch upon this face here. Create a sketch. And we pull in some geometry. Let's pull in this top. And I want to create a feature upon here that follows this face. Because I pulled in the geometry, I should be able to do that by creating some kind of feature. That's create. Let's just keep it simple and create a square on here and hit close. Now, if I pad that, you can see that it's disappeared. Now, first thing to make sure is that we click on the fit all onto screen, just in case it's disappeared off screen. As you can see, it hasn't. So it must be some kind of other issue. The other thing to check is we click reverse. So what's happened here is that instead of padding along the Y in this direction, I actually padded out this way and it's created something called a multi-body object. So if I change this to reverse, again, you can see, well, nothing's happened, but if I hit okay, it says pad results as multiple solids. This is not spoiler this time. 
And that's because, well, this is padded out this way and we can't have that. We also get that if I cancel that and come into that sketch. When we have the geometry that we want to pad or pocket floating above the material. So let me just delete that point on object constraint and have this just floating above. So actually, if I zoom right in, you can see that if I do this, then that's actually flown above there. And if I zoom out, it looks like it's connected. But if I close and take that sketch and pad that, just that reverse, you can see, well, it's not having it. We've still got that result as multiple solids. And this can be a bit of a time sink trying to figure out what you have done. So it's normally because you have it not connected correctly to this face. So we need to make sure it's on this line or over the line like so. And then we pad that and hit OK. This time it's taken because it's actually over this line before it was on this edge, which it won't allow. Or the other way is to make sure that it's connected to the geometry underneath and it's sitting on that line. So you can see recompute failed and it's in error. Result has multiple solids. And that's because we need to pad forwards rather than this way. This is not connected on that line. So that's coming to the pad. Go reverse and you can see it's right on that line there. Very common error is why not closed. So I'm in the body, in the part design and I create a new sketch. Long, let's say the XY plane and hit OK. So we're here at the moment. So if I create, say, a rectangle, this will actually pad. So if I take that sketch and pad it, it pads absolutely fine. Let's cancel that. Let's break the geometry. And I click on this point here and hit delete and just move this slightly. And what I'm going to do is zoom right in and bring these close together. So this is a usual problem that you may see that it all looks fine. So this looks absolutely fine. I'll close that and try to pad that. It's going to fail. You can see that there. I hit OK saying why not closed? And that's because it's open. But as we can see, this is the hard to find which part of this is not closed. So there is a tool. Come over to the sketcher and we're going to validate that sketch. Click on the sketch, come up to sketch, validate sketch. We get a number of options and we get this one here, highlight troublesome vertices. If I click that, you can see we've got a yellow cross that shows you the exact problem. And it's worth changing these tolerances here to allow that to find any missing coincidences at a much smaller scale. So because these aren't coincident to each other, then that's causing a problem. Let's close that and double click on the sketch. Now, to make these coincident, we can select both of them and use the coincident constraint. But if this was sitting on top of here like so, and hit close, come back to the part design and hit pad, then this will pad. And though they are not connected together, they are coincident to each other. Therefore, they're on top of each other. Therefore, this is absolutely fine. Let's have a look at the sketcher. Go to the model and click on the sketch inside here. Press the space bar to show the sketch. I'm going to hide this pad. If I come to the sketch menu, and let's make sure it's selected, select the sketch, come up to sketch menu, come down to validate sketch, highlight travels and vertices, you can see it's absolutely fine. So we just have to watch out for this because anytime we move the sketch, and if we move this just a small 
fraction of a millimeter, then this could cause an error when we go into our pad. So you can see our pad there. And if we hover over it, it says wire not closed. So this problem is related to the part workbench and ruled surfaces. And it's when we get a bow tie in a ruled surface. So if I create a sketch upon the YZ plane and hit OK and create, say, a B spline in here. And we're going to create something like this. Hit escape, close that. And I'm just going to create a copy of that. So I'm going to Control C or come up to edit, duplicate selection. I've created another sketch and I'm going to move it along the X plane. To come into the placement, we look at the position and then we look at the X and we give this some distance, say 80. We've got this one here. I can modify that sketch a bit if I want. So let's create something a bit different. Close. And I'm going to create a ruled surface over in the part workbench between these two sketches. So I'll select one side, one single edge, control select the other and make a ruled surface. Now we get our ruled surface. If we end up with a bow tie in this, then that can be easy resolved. The ruled surface has an orientation. So when we end up with a bow tie, we get something like this. So if you're seeing this, then we can just come into the ruled surface and change the orientation to either reverse or forward and that will fix the bow tie. It will be one or the other. The default is automatic. Sometimes when you're extracting out edges from your existing geometry or your existing model, and you create two edges, and you create a surface across those, if we get that bow tie, then we just come in to this orientation and change whichever orientation will cause the surface to reform to what we actually want. So this problem has been both the part and part design, and it can be caused by a number of issues. So I think I'm gonna create another video at some point regarding how fillets fail, but these are the main issues. That's come over to the part design and create something in here. Create a body, create a sketch along the XY plane. And again, we're going to use a simple rectangle sketch in here. The most common failure of fillet, we pad this, we have a 10 millimeter pad. Important to note the length. If I fillet an edge, say this edge here, and add a fillet, and set this to 10 millimeters, then it's going to fail. As you can see, the fillet has failed because we fill it right down to the bottom we can't do that we can't fill it all the way up to 10 millimeters we can do this by going 9.99 and we get a fillet basically all the way down but this is most common when we're filleting both sides so if i double click this fillet and that's so this to one so we've got a fillet there and we want to add another edge. So we'll add this edge here. And we get a one fillet, let's go for two. So it updates, you can see the two fillet there. A one will be fine. Now notice they're filleting and they go into the midpoint. So we've got a 10 millimeter thickness here. If I place this to five, then it's going to fail because our 10 millimeters has been fulfilled by a five millimeter fillet one way and a five millimeter fillet the other way from one edge to the other. So we do the same. We go 4.99, so they don't share an edge. And you can see if we zoom right in, we've got a very, very small face there. And that's filleted that around there like so. Another problem. If I cancel that and delete the fillet, is when an edge is shared. So that's create something along this face here. So I'm going to create a sketch upon there, select that face, create a sketch, 
I'm going to pull in the geometry and I'm going to create something along here. So I'm going to create another rectangle like so. Let's close that and I'm going to pad this this way by about 20 mil. So I want to create a fillet between these two edges here. Let's do that. So select those edges by control selecting them and create a fillet. And you can see recompute has failed straight away, even with a one millimeter fillet. So failed to create fillet. The reason is, is because we've got this feature here and this feature here, and they are planar to each other. So we got a plane going across this way, plane going across this way. And really we can define this shape with a single sketch. We don't have to, we click on the pad, click on the data tab and come down and find the refine and set that to true. This will remove faces along the same plane as each other. If I click off, you can see we've got this now. Let's try the fillet again. Select one edge, control select the other and use the fillet. Now our fillet has taken. There are other problems where fillets converge and we create a problem where we have different size fillets that are needed, but we'll get into that in another video. So I hope that's helped with some of the common problems that you've encountered out in the FreeCAD world. I'm going to do a follow-up video looking at more complex problems and how to fix them. Hope you enjoy these videos and I hope to see you again soon. If you like what you've seen and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0 or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash Mango Jelly Solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos. And I hope to see you again in the next one.